So what does vintage Teletone mean to you? Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett, and today we are checking out the vintage Telecaster set from Porter Pickups. I have them loaded in this guitar. This is one of my favorite Telecasters. I've just loved this guitar for years. I've gone through a lot of pickups in this guitar, and this is a vintage Tele set again from Porter. Now, a little bit about the nitty gritty, and then we're going to talk about the tone. So, the vintage Porter set has Alnico three magnets, and there's 43 enamel gauge wire for the neck and 42 gauge enamel wire for the bridge. Now, the bridge also has a copper base plate. So when you're talking about vintage specs, they're really honoring that kind of that kind of vintage spec. Now, tonally, what does vintage Teletone mean to you? There's a lot of different things that people perceive when it comes to Telecasters and Telecaster tone. I am a big fan of classic Teletone, and maybe classic is a better word to use because vintage Vintage is a word that sometimes gets people a little bit hung up on the specifics, whereas classic is a bit more all-encompassing, even though, honestly, we're talking about pretty much the same thing here. For starters, this guitar has a six-saddle bridge. Now, those of you might know that one of the most classic vintage Tele players of all time, Mr. Keith Richards, also happens to play a Telecaster with a six-saddle bridge. So, if you're going to make the point that you need the three brass saddle bridge to get really true vintage Teletone. I will lend some credence to that argument. However, I don't think you need it for great vintage Teletone. After having done a shootout between titanium and steel saddles on a Telecaster, I do appreciate how much of a difference the material and the style of uh, saddles, I appreciate how much of a difference that material makes. But Tone is cumulative, and it is not a make it or break it when it comes to vintage Teletone. So, if you came on here to go, well, you need the brass saddles if you want vintage Teletone, just stop it. You're done. What I look for in a great Teletone, specifically a classic Teletone, which I've talked about before, is specifically the neck. The neck needs to be really special. The bridge is easier to get. The neck is not so easy to get. The neck pickup on a Telecaster should have this airy, open hollowness to it. It should be a little bit breathy. It shouldn't be as present and bell-like as a Stratocaster neck pickup. So you know what it should sound like? It should sound like Carl Wilson's vocals in the Beach Boys. Go listen, you'll know what I'm talking about. Two great champions of this Tele neck tone uh, would be Roy Buchanan and Bill Frizzell. 
absolute beautiful Telecaster neck tones. Now, that's what I look for. Now, obviously in the middle position, there's something really special that happens with a Telecaster where it gets, uh, it's not really, there's a bit of that twang that comes in, but in kind of this uh, spanky sort of uh, throaty, growly kind of way, uh, that's beautiful for cleans. It can be great for funky playing. I particularly like it for, you know, clean playing with a little bit of reverb. Now, when you get up to the bridge, and I will say again that the bridge is easier to nail than the neck tone. When you get up to the bridge, what I look for is one that has actually a lot of fatness to it. Many vintage Telecasters are compared to Les Pauls. Well, if you've just played modern Telecasters and modern Les Pauls, you might not get that comparison. But if you've ever played at least a vintage-inspired Telecaster in the proper way, and a vintage-inspired Les Paul that's done in the proper way, then you really, really get it. Because Les Paul PAF pickups have much more bite and twang to them than a lot of modern pickups that come in Les Pauls. And the classic 50s Telecaster sound is way fatter and more aggressive than some of the modern sort of sleeker, twangier Telecasters. So you really start to appreciate that comparison if you've played ones that have the, the sort of proper specs and everything. So obviously you want the twang from a Telecaster bridge pickup, but I also look for a little bit of a rounded top end so that that twang doesn't just sort of like, you know, get you right in the temple like you're stabbing yourself in the temple with a pencil. Nobody wants that. But you can get that nice sort of fat twang with just a little bit of roll off, but a nice powerful mid-range. Great for overdrive, great for clean licks, obviously. Those are the tones that I look for in a vintage Telecaster. And I'm very pleased to say that I think the Porter pickups really, really nail it. They get it done, they do it right. So please let us know, what do you think of when it comes to classic Teletone. Now, there are obviously things that fit outside the box there. If you have a little bit of a sleeker sounding bridge pickup with more emphasis on that top end, a little bit less mid-range, yeah, that works too. I have a 50 style Telecaster where the neck pickup sounds like a Strat pickup. So sad for me. It sounds like one of the best neck pickups out there. It's not that specific Tele classic tone that I look for, but it sounds like an amazing Strat neck pickup, so I really don't have an awful lot to whine about. But let us know. What do you think? What do you look for? You've just heard it on the neck pickup. On the next part, we're going to play it in the middle and the bridge, both clean and overdriven. I'm Jack Fawcett. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.